Hey guys, hello everybody, Merry Christmas, and um, welcome to Whimsical Wednesday. My name is Tracy, I'm a Dixieville brand ambassador, and I own the company Tracy's Fancy, and I meet here every single Wednesday night at 7 o'clock Central Time uh, to share with you my favorite products, to share with you any new, any new products that we have out, um, painting techniques and styles, and we have a really great community that joins us here every single Wednesday night. So, um, any of you guys that are new, please let us know that you're new. Those of you that are here all the time, please say hello, let me know that you're here. Uh, I cannot see comments tonight because I am doing something that I wanted to work on a bigger surface, and it's not furniture, it's actually cabinet doors, but my daughter, Zadie, Z-A-D-I-E, is actually filming for us tonight, so she's behind the scenes, and she will um, let me know if anyone has any pertinent questions. Also, Dixie Bell Paint is usually here with us during our lives, and they are here to answer any questions that you might have as well. While I'm working, I don't always get to see all of them. So, um, how are we doing, hon? Good. Okay. I don't any, see any questions? Any questions? No? Okay. All right. So, um, I want to tell you what I've got going on tonight. Usually, my, product, my projects or whatever I have going on in the shop at that time, whatever order, whatever custom order that I'm working on. So tonight's custom order is a little bit different because it's not an actual standing furniture piece. Um, last week we painted vintage luggage. Uh, that went over really well with you guys. Y'all liked that a lot and I really appreciate y'all's support. But tonight, guys, we are painting kitchen cabinet doors. These ca I'm in San Antonio, Texas, and these doors came to me from Fort Worth, Texas, from someone that I did not know prior to social media. She reached out to me and said, I love your colorful, daring artwork, and I would love it if you would do your artwork on my kitchen cabinets. How about I bring you my cabinet doors? I was like, wow, no one's ever, no one's ever brought me their kitchen before. <laughs> So I said, sure, I will do that. I used to paint whole kitchens in the past, and um, I don't do them anymore. They're a lot of work. Um, <coughs> it also requires me to be on location. <coughs> so it's not something that I really do or enjoy doing anymore. Um, I've done my own many times. So I have a lot of experience in painting kitchen cabinet doors or kitchen cabinets. But I couldn't pass this one up. So let me tell you why. This client has requested a like a boho glam color scheme and um, if Zadie will pan over and show you these are many of the colors that we're going to be using right over here uh, these are some of the brightest and boldest colors that Dixie Bell carries we're going to be using uh, honky tonk red um, let me see honky tonk red and peony Zadie you don't have to pick them one up sorry <laughs> Okay, and y'all be, be nice to Zadie, okay? She's like fighting with the tripod. Like, you're good, okay? Sorry. You're good. Um, I've got amethyst purple. We're going to be using cobalt blue, Florida orange, flamingo, which is a gorgeous, uh, bright, pinky, orangey coral color. I've even got a little bit of fluff for some highlights. Um, I didn't mention peacock that we're going to use, tree frog green, and plum crazy, and probably even more. This, these sets of doors, there are 15 doors in all, um, and they are going to be just a huge canvas from left to right, up, down. She is a brave soul, right? Brave soul. So these are our color palettes right here, but let me tell you what we have going on as our base. So hold on just a second, guys. Okay. If I move from left to right, you just go, you just twist this. Wait, sorry. You just turn this like this. Okay. Heart, sorry, guys. See that? You just turn just like that, okay? But I won't be going over there anymore. So now you're just going to be right here, and you'll just go up and down like that, okay? Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm so happy that she's willing to do this. She's only 14, and Matt, my husband, he's hunting. So uh, he's usually the filmer if I have someone else doing it. Um, okay, so this is the deal. Uh, I have already base coated one, two doors, and I'm going to show you what I did, but this is what the doors look like before I got started. So I'm sure that plenty of you have kitchen cabinets that look like this. The beauty of these is that they're this sort of this pickled oak. They're not that orangey oak, so they're actually pretty neutral. Um, they've got like a whitewashed pickled look to them. Um, really, in my opinion, you don't need to prime these um, for color blocking reasons. 
but because they are kitchens and, and very often bathrooms, I still personally only feel good about it to put a, uh, to put a primer on there anyway. But it, in this case, it's not for color blocking, it is for adhesion. Now, Dixie Belle Chalk Mineral Paint will it adhere to almost anything, with even without a primer. But I'm just wanting to feel good about it, I, personally because she's paying me to do this and I want to, to give back to her a really good, solid, sturdy product. But even if it's you and you're doing it for yourself, you want, if you're gonna spend this much time doing these yourselves, you want it to last, right? So in my own home here, other people, I'm just gonna prime it. Now what I've had her do is I've had her mark each door with a piece of tape. So this one says number two, and this one says number one. There with a piece of blue tape, she marked them herself, and she took a photo of her kitchen. Every wall, she took a photo. And we numbered with, you know, just like with a finger on like the doodle apps where you could mark one on the door, two on the door, three on the door, and then she sent them. So I can refer back to the photos that she sent and know what door goes where. So I know for a fact that when these doors are in her kitchen, that one's number one, this one's number two. I know that this is the top and this is the bottom because I had her place, I'm telling you this for if you have clients that want to send you to their doors. I had her place the tape with the number at the top of the door, not just anywhere on the door. So this tells me this is the top. And when I look at my photo as my, as my map, I knew that one and two go next to each other. They face just like this. So if I want to paint these doors individually with artwork, um, I need to at least have them be cohesive and match. Or if I want to use this as one big canvas and do something really pretty across both of them, I know that they go together. So, you know, I don't want to paint like a pot of flowers and then have the flowers going opposite directions because I messed up and they actually go like that. Okay? Um, yes, Sadie, somebody's got a question? Yes. Um... Someone asked, are you doing a live on your page tonight following this one? I am. I'm going to just keep going on these. So, yes, thank you for asking. When I'm done here, I always hop on over to my page, Tracy's Fancy. Um, I put a link at the top of this video that where you can follow me on Tracy's Fancy. And um, also, if you are, if there's something that we do tonight like these, because I'm going to do some silk screen stencils on one of these doors here in just a few minutes. These are brand new. They hit the, uh, they are at your retailers already. Your retailers have had them in the store, but today is the first day that you can actually order them online. Um, and it's really exciting. And uh, I put up a video today of me doing the roses, but tonight we're going to do it live right here, right here on my client's door. So um, there's a link on this video as well. And I would love it. That's my affiliate link. If you can click that and um, purchase your paints there. If you want to look for a retailer in your area, you can also follow my link over and use the little retailer search bar where you put your zip code in and you can find a retailer in your area too. All right, so uh, the very first thing I did with the four doors that I'm working on tonight was I cleaned them. I cleaned them with white lightning and white lightning is Dixie Bell's cleaner. My client had already done a great job cleaning them, but I, I told her I was gonna use white lightning anyway and I still pulled off some gunk, even though they looked immaculate. So the reason I'm telling you that is these came out of the kitchen. Kitchens just have stuff. They have grease, lots and lots of grease and grime from uh, years of being in the kitchen. So um, even though she done a great job cleaning them, I still pulled some gunk off. I used white lightning. After I cleaned with white lightning, I did another final shower in just straight water and um, wiped those off. So they're clean, they're dry, they're ready to go. So the very first thing that I do is here is my gray boss. So this is boss right here. This is the gray boss that Dixie Bell carries. Three different types of boss. There's clear, there's white, and there's gray. They all work well. Boss stands for blocks odors, stains, and stops bleed through. So uh, blocks odors, stains, smells, and stops bleed through. So odors and smells are the same thing. Blocks, odors, y'all know I, I struggle with this. Blocks, odors, stops, stains, and bleed throughs. There we go, that's the acronym, B-O-S-S. -S. Uh, gray is by far my favorite. I absolutely love it. I could have used white beneath this because the base coat's gonna be the golf, which is pretty cool. Who paints their kitchen cabinets the golf? And then lets you do artwork on top of it. Yes, Sadie, somebody's got a question? Somebody said they love your outfit. Oh, um, thank you, I should not be painting in this. I put it on this morning for a live video and it's just been on me all day. 
Thank you. Someone said kitchens need so much so much extra cleaning. White lighting is amazing. It is. I they who, who said that? Wendy Batten. Yes, Wendy, you know it. You know it. Um you're really honestly guys, your final finish is only as good as the surface that you start with. So you've got if it is a kitchen, you have to get some extra TLC. Get yourself a scrubber, get a toothbrush, use a scrubby, um, and really get them cleaned off. But you need to make sure that you use a final wash of water to make sure that you get all of the white lightning off as well. Okay, so this is my gray boss. I've got my gray boss. I'm using my flat mini brush here, and I am just starting to lay down a layer. I always do this inner panel first, so that I can do exactly what you see me doing here, where I make sure I get into that edge really well. I pounce it into that edge. Um, I'm gonna do this whole center panel using plenty of boss. Like I said, this is the gray. I could have used clear, I could have used white, and I honestly really probably could have gone without any primer at all uh, if this were a piece of furniture. But like I said, because it is a kitchen I just feel like there's going to be a lot of scrubbing and washing over the years and this will uh, this will make her artwork that we're going to put on here last longer and make it more durable so you see me here how quickly I'm doing this I am NOT doing this hard now these last few strokes here very light like just super light like a feather running it back and forth so the whole inside's been done now I'm going to follow the outside edge here. I'm going to get all the flat outside edges painted. And I'm not going to prime both of these guys. I just have these laying up here next to each other like that so that you can see the, the taping method that we use. Um, like I said, I've never had anyone bring me their doors, but that just seemed to make the most sense. These doors actually have uh, hidden hinges, so I don't have to worry about painting the hinges or removing the hinges. Yes, Sadie? Um, Vivian Youngbright asked, do you recommend using the gray boss if you're going to use a cream color? I, uh, it doesn't, it really won't matter. Who was that? Did you say Vicky? Um, Vivian? Vivian. Um, you know what, honestly, Vivian, it really wouldn't matter. Uh, gray or white, gray, Gray is really, really good if you're going to be doing um, colors like orange and uh, reds, oranges and reds. Gray really is very helpful for those. Uh, now I'm doing this outer edge, you guys, and I'm just making sure, I, this is what I'm doing. I'm making sure that I don't, we're not painting the insides of her doors. So I'm making sure that I don't go over this edge here. So I'm just running my brush like this straight across so that I end up with a nice clean edge so that we don't have to worry about coming back and wiping off. I don't want any paint going over that edge. Do you see how clean that edge is? So that's what I'm doing. Um, anyway, you could use gray or white under cream. You really could. It really, I don't think it'll make a difference under cream. Whatever you have, like if you have white already, just use it. That, that would work great. If you said you were doing red and all you had was white, I would say, oh, Vivian, just take the extra time, uh, put, place your order, and wait for your gray. It's that much worth the wait if you are painting reds or oranges. But because it's cream, I don't think it'll really matter. Is there another question, babe? Uh, nope. No? Not that I see. Someone said, great advice from Dixie Bell. Oh, thank you. No. Or maybe they weren't thanking me. Maybe someone else had some advice. <laughs> and they were telling them. Thank you anyways, though. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so that is my gray primer. That is how easy that is, y'all. That easy. It's done. That door is primed. I could just set this aside and get started on the next door. But we're not going to do the next door. Zadie, will you go over that way, baby, and grab this? No, not with the camera. You just go grab that. There you go. And then take this one as well and set it right on top of it. Awesome, thank you, baby. Okay, so now this is where we are. We have primed our door, and now we have door number, now we have door number three and four. Three and four, they go next to each other, and I'm gonna put them up just like this. 
That's the top. Yes, babe. Nina Nena West Nina. said, are you going to paint these cabinets with silk? Hi, Nina. No, I'm not. I'm not painting. The silk line is a very, uh, the silk line is very subtle, neutral colors. And um, this client does not want that. that. The silk line has a very soft, romantic palette. And this client, did you see the beginning, Nina? You must have missed the beginning. <laughs> the beginning I showed, if Zadie wants to kind of turn that camera that way, just the camera bay, the side down. The side. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, this client is using all of those colors over there. So this this is going to be a major boho glam, and the silk line does not carry these type of colors. Both of the oranges, blue, cobalt blue, amethyst purple, peacock, plum crazy, peony, honky tonk red, and can tree frog green. This is a client of my dreams, right? All right, so Nina, you're a color lover too, so I'm sure you understand. Okay, so now back to these doors, guys. This is door number three and door number four. This is her base coat color. So what she's doing in Fort Worth is she is base coating the bodies of her cabinets by herself. So she has the golf paint there and her Mr. Bottle and her brush and she's painting all of her the bodies of her cabinets there in this color and then we're doing art on all of the doors so this will be my base coat color for all of the cabinets and then the artwork will lay on top of that we'll have lots of black and white patterns mixed in there um free reign so you see these two do y'all know how happy this makes me this is so exciting this is two huge canvases right all right so just let me set this one aside we just finished priming that other door. So let's act like this is the same exact door here, although it's door number three. And now the next step would be to paint it. So I am gonna set aside my primer and brush and close up my boss. And I'm gonna get my next brush out, which this brush is my flat mini not mini, my flat medium. It's my flat medium brush. Remember the handle. Um, and then this is the golf. That's what color you just saw on that other door. But I want to show you a couple of things about painting large, big surfaces like this. So you need a brush. I really like the flat medium. I know they're not available right now, but I love this size because if you if you order paints and you're new to painting and you're not sure you need 16 ounces, the Dixie Bell paints come and 16 ounces or eight ounces this is eight this is 16 and this is 32. you can see the three sizes right here so these are the three sizes that they come in um if you're new a lot of new people start with the small size right um so and that i get that i understand that i paint mostly with these but the thing about this flat medium brush is it reaches inside this jar <laughs> which i really really like all right, so now I'm gonna paint this. I've, my boss is dry. I've got my Mr. Bottle. I'm just gonna spritz a little bit on, onto the door, just like that. I'm gonna dip my brush into my paint, and I'm just gonna start putting it on here. And I can be messy. I can go in a bunch of different directions if I want to, but just like I did the primer on that other door, I wanna get this inset first. And it doesn't matter what way you go. It really doesn't matter right now. You just want to get this inset covered. So I'm going to keep putting water on it. Just helps my uh, paint move better. You don't have to, but in this paint, I've had this paint for a while, so it's really thick. I don't use these small jars very often. So I'm putting quite a bit of water on the door just because my paint is thicker. That's another beautiful thing about Dixie Belle paint. If you prefer to work with thicker paint, or let's say you want to have more texture in your paint, you can just take your jar off of your lid and leave it open. And the air, um, as it starts to dry out a little bit, it will do, it will thicken your paint for you. Um, and you can use that thicker paint for uh, texture techniques. If you like thinner paint, and you can even get it all the way down to like a watercolor technique, then you can just add water to your paint or use a lot of water in your Mr. Spray Bottle. Okay, so now if you're watching me, I know we're moving fast, guys, but I have a lot to cover with y'all tonight. So now if you're watching me, I'm going back all the way across very lightly. I'm not brushing hard. 
very lightly and I'm brushing left to right, left to right, long strokes. I'm cleaning up all those sloppy strokes that I did. Now I'm getting lighter and lighter and lighter with my brush. Very light. And now I'm gonna do one last mist, one last mist across, and I'm gonna run my brush one more time. And I mean, I am just dragging it like a feather. Super light across the top. And this will help, I hear you baby, this will help to eliminate um, any brush strokes that I have on there. Okay, questions babe? Someone asked what the name of that color is. Oh, uh, isn't this color amazing? So I always talk about my top five favorite colors and this color is called the Gulf. The Gulf. And it is fabulous. It's happy. It's fun. It's not too in your face. Some people will call this mint, but Dixie Belle actually has a mint color. And this one is very, very different. This has a coastal feel, a happy feel. Um, it's beautiful with a uh, black glaze over it. And we probably are going to be doing some glazing on these doors. Um, Anytime, if you like jewel tones, this is a little, a little pro tip here. If you like jewel tones, which all of those colors over there are jewel tones, but they're a little, when you paint them, they're like, woo, kind of like, you know, in your face too much. Put some black best stain wax over it. Holy cow. That will uh, deepen and richen your color and make it uh, more elegant. It'll, it will make your very, very, very bright in your face colors more elegant. Okay, so now I am just doing like I showed you, running my brush along this edge so that I'm sure not to get any on the inside of my door. Oh, dang, I forgot to put my would you bin mold on here. I was going to put a mold on here. Is there any other questions, babe? No. No? Do y'all have any questions for me, guys, while I am uh, doing this edge that Zadie can be asking? Anything y'all want to tell my 14-year-old daughter? <laughs> Anything at all? Lots of, people, lots of people said Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to you guys, too. Okay, I totally meant to do a would you been mold on here. And I did. We'll do it on the... We'll do it on the next door. And then we're gonna do, then we're gonna do the uh, stencils. So artwork wise guys, I've got some ideas being born in my head, but they are just that, they are just being born. I don't really have the exact plan yet, but what I do know is it's going to be a lot of mixed patterns and uh, a lot of layers underneath and then I'll do bigger and bolder and simpler on top as I work my way to the surface. So I was really excited that the timing of this project is right when the silk screen stencils were born and uh, I'm able to start those as my underlayers and I really like that idea. Were you trying to get my attention today? Yes. Um, Azura uh -huh. said we could use chalk paint on your cabinets too. Make certain colors to get what you like and it goes a long way. More Absolutely, it does go a really long way and she's right. You can mix your colors to come up with your own, which I do very often. Um, sometimes I mix right on the furniture itself and uh, sometimes I mix on a plate. So I'm moving, these to, moving this to the other side so we can let it dry. And then I'm gonna pull my finished door up there. Can you guys hear me okay? I usually wear a microphone, but I knew that I was going to be moving around a lot. Okay, so now I have my dry and finished door right here. Can I see this, Kitsy? Yes. All right, so this is my dry and finished door. So let's see. All right. Now, this is door number four, and this is the top, and this is the right side. So what I thought I would do is I had some broken, Dixie Bell sent me some broken molds, or sent all of us brand ambassadors some broken molds. So these are some broken ones, and I thought I would just randomly use this one on the top corner, and this is a much smaller piece, it's a, a broken piece that came to me just like this, 
but I put it across the way on this other side. But now I'm thinking that I might actually do that on the other door. So I think I'm only gonna apply this here and then door number three will be right next to it. And I'm gonna save this to go down in the bottom corner of door number three. So I'm gonna put that over there. So let me, this is Would You Been? Uh, Dixie Belle carries a lot, of, they carry many, many styles of the Would You Been molds. I don't know if they have this exact style, but it's one that Dixie Belle sent me, so I think it's okay to use. Um, they are, you need to apply heat and then glue and then hold them down. And I know that this is flat, so I don't want to bend it, but I still want, uh, I still want to heat it up. You get your best adhesion if you heat it up. Oops. So I'm gonna heat this up for just a second. We're gonna put some glue on it and then we're gonna paint it. And then we will add uh, some stencils. You don't have to heat it up a lot, just a little bit. Somebody, Connie says, Merry Christmas, how do you paint in such nice clothes and stay clean? <laughs> I, well, I don't know, Zadie, do you wanna answer them? don't know <laughs> because I'm crazy <laughs> um I've had it on all day and I've actually painted off and on all day haven't I Zadie I've been in and out of the shop oh yeah uh then we went and ran errands and I should wear an apron like I should totally have an apron on right now I don't know why I don't uh, Catherine says, do you have to steal the Dixie Bell paint, uh, Dixie Bell silk paint if you use it on the kitchen cabinets? No, you do not. Dixie Bell silk paint does not require a sealer or a top coat. It doesn't require a top coat and you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And actually Dixie Bell paint itself doesn't require a top coat either. Uh, if you're willing to let it wait, let it cure for 30 days, it doesn't need a top coat either. But the silk paint has a different finish than this. This paint has a very chalky finish, where the silk paint has a little bit more of a smooth, satiny finish. Um, but I couldn't use the silk for this client because the colors just don't work. The Dixie Belle chalk paint colors, there are just a, it's a lot more... Um, if you like bright and bold colors, this is just kind of more, this is a better fit. Okay, what I'm doing here is just, uh, I pressed really hard. I'm just going in and picking up some of the extra glue, spreading it out a little bit. I put a lot of glue on here, and I'm just going down with this nasty old brush and rubbing off some of the excess glue. And then we're gonna paint right over the top of this. What'll be really cool about this is I can use the new Dixie Bell waxes when it's all said and done in one of the pretty colors. So this one is on and done. So now I'm gonna take my paint and I can just paint right over this. It's ready to go. This is the beauty of the Would You Been molds. They, uh, once you put them on, they glue in place, they're ready to go. You don't have to tape them down. You don't have to tape them in place. If you use a glue, like this is the tight bond glue, Dixie Bell has this available as well. Uh, it, it works really quickly and you're just ready to roll. Like my, I, my mold is done. I just glued it in place and I'm ready to go. Whereas if you use a clay mold, um, you have to let it dry. And if you use well, any other kind of mold. You have to glue it in place and let it set. This one's ready to go. I'll hold this up in just a second and you guys can see this. Janice, Janice asked, what do I put on mahogany dresser first, boss or slick paint? It needs both. Uh, are you sure it needs slick stick, Janice? Um, for sure you need boss. Boss white or gray, uh, I would recommend gray with mahogany. Uh, mahogany has a lot of red tones and the gray works really well over the red tones. Um, if you need slick stick, I would do slick stick first and then I would do boss for the color blocking. Slick stick will help adhere. I don't, I don't know if you need it unless it's um, like a, uh, if it's from Bombay Company, I would use slick stick. But if it's not, I really honestly, boss, will work for you. Just scuff it up maybe a little bit and then use boss and then paint. Okay, so do you see this? This is in place and I'm gonna let that dry. Actually, you need to check your molds from every angle because 
you may need to make sure that you have it in every angle. All right, so let's break out a, let's do real quick. We don't have much time. Let's get a, let's do a, uh, well, this is kind of good. It'll show you how quickly you can do these silk screen sten stencils. Um, yes, let's do a silk screen stencil and um, show you how fast they are and what a difference they make. So I think let's do this one in, um, let's start with the color close. Y'all want to do it in peacock? Y'all guess, peacock or honky tonk red? Tell me what you want. Guess a color. Start saying a color. Peacock or honky tonk red? Tell me, tell me. Sylvie said, why use it on Bombay champ, uh, comp paint? The Bombay, the Bombay, the pieces from Bombay and Company, the pieces from Bombay and Company have some sort of baked on oily finish that we, all of us furniture painters know, you just need to use slick stick. Paint does not want to adhere to Bombay and company furniture pieces, jewelry boxes, uh, what else did they used to make that they were known for? Like their TV trays, anything like that. Okay, so this is what the silk train stencils look like when you come in, the, they come in the package. You open the package up, every design, this one's the mandalas, uh, every design has three sheets. So this one has this stencil, this and this so three things there this one has a big one with a, a border and this one's got half which you could do half and turn it and do another half um, it's got one two three borders and then two smaller ones as well so let's do um let's do this design right here and you can cut it if you want i'm going to do that just to show you you don't have to but you can cut it if you want or you can leave it in place i'm going to cut this one uh, it would just depend on what surface you're working on, how much room you need, and that's it. All right, so now I have a little plate next to me. Did they decide Honky Tonk Red or Peacock? They, most of them said Peacock. Okay, awesome. Let's do Peacock. All right, either or, guys. Either or, because they're going to get everything. There's going to be a lot of everything on, this, on these pieces. All right, so this is Peacock. It's a brand new jar. You can use chalk paints. You can use chalk paste. You can use um, uh, you can use the mousses as long as they're watered down. Uh, the silk screen stencils. Why they're called silk screen is because they literally have a silk screen that's between them that you have to push the product through. So as I pull this off like this, this opens up. And it pulls off like a little sticker, uh, like this. And it's very flimsy. You see that? It's nice and flimsy, nice and thin, super, super thin. And I'm just going to pick a spot. So let's do it over here. And then Zadie can climb up. We're going to just put this down about like this. I'm going to stick it in place like so just like that and then it comes with this little applicator piece which if you like the size of it that's great i like it because you can turn it this way or you can do it a long way or it's got this little short end when i worked on you know if let's say you're using this and you don't cut it and you don't want to get on this border so as you're using it you would turn this short end and work it like that. Or if you wanted to do this whole thing in a row, you could just take this piece and scrape it all across that. Or you can use this little tiny end and only do this row. So it gives you a lot, of, there's a lot of versatility with it. So I'm gonna take uh, some of my paint here, which I normally would have a spoon and I don't. I'm just gonna pour, you don't need much. I'm just gonna pour a little bit out onto the plate. I'm gonna come over there where you are, Sadie. Um, right here. And I'm gonna take this end and I'm gonna put it right here in my little scraper and just get it on one side, just like that. You don't have to have much. And I'm just going, I've already pressed this down really hard. I'm just gonna put this right here and I'm just gonna scrape across, just like that. And what you're doing is you're sending this paint through the silk screen. Now guys, I've only done this for one other time, but it was a whole project. I did that black, uh, blue, I did the roses on the blue primitive cabinet, and that was my very first time to use the silk screen. And uh, so this is my only my second time, and I've never done it live. So there we go, just like that. You just scrape it over it. 
Here's like what I was talking about, that little section here. You want to take it and just kind of put it over it. You're pushing through the screen. It's sticky. The, the piece is sticky itself, so it's sticking to the... Uh, you don't have to use stencil adhesive like you do with stencils. Um, and that helps you to not have bleed through. And you'll, you're just going to be shocked how, how fine the detail that you get from this. Taylor says, we saw a lady use a paintbrush last night. Seemed to work pretty good. You can use a paintbrush too. You can use a scraper or you can use a paintbrush. The thing I like about the scraper is you don't have to use, um, you have very, very, very little paint on here. Sometimes if you use a paintbrush and you're new and you're not sure about what you're doing, um, you end up using too much paint and then you'll end up with bleed through. All right, so I'm done. Now I'm just gonna do one final pass. Carolyn says, I used a roller with them, worked great, no bleeding. Awesome, that's great. Yeah, there you can use whatever you want. I'm just using what's in the package so people will know, but the options are great to know about. T Tiffany says, are the stencils reusable or okay, are they you one time? Them? Okay, you watching? All right, I'll answer that. Look at this. Look how pretty. Isn't that perfect? That's so pretty. Okay, so they are reusable. Um, this right here, I would take straight to the sink because you need to clean it off pretty quickly. I would take it straight to the sink and wash it off just with soap and water. But I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here and I'm gonna do one on this side as well, real quick. Just like that. You can also just use your finger, guys. You don't even have to have a specific tool. They put that little, uh, scraper in there, but I mean, we could, we could use a brush. We could use, the thing is that you just want to make sure that it's, that the adhesive is stuck down really, really well. Deanne says, apparently the average is around 10 uses, uses, then screen gets blocked, depends on. It, you know what, to me, Deanne, it really wasn't that the screen got blocked because mine, my screen is still open on my roses. It's that the stickiness finally started to give out. I did the whole blue cabinet. So y'all wanna see it with the brush? Let's try it with the brush, okay? We'll do it with the brush. Uh, I did that whole cabinet with one stencil. And um, so here's a brush. We'll see how this compares to the other one. If it's ugly and it messes up, no big deal. I'll just paint over it. Tarina says, can I buy the scraper without the screen? Uh, no, I don't think so. The scraper comes in uh, as part of the, the silk screens. So anyway, you've got three pieces, three different stencils in one package, and then each sheet is available to use at least 10 times, at least. Like I said, mine's still, I could still use mine. It's just not as sticky. Um, so you've got 30 uses for sure. So there we go. I don't know how much paint went through there. It doesn't feel like as much went through as with the scraper, but let's see. Yep, see that guys? It didn't, it didn't deliver as much. So I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna use my, I think we're gonna get a little bit of bleed through there because once you lift, you kind of break that seal but I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the scraper. The brush just didn't, it didn't put enough pressure. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this now, just to show you that too. I think it'd be a little bit easier to use, a little bit easier to maneuver. Yeah, now I feel like, with it smaller, I feel like I have more control for sure. I like the scraper. I, some people have kind of complained and said that, what time is it? We're doing good. Uh, said they liked the rubber better, but um, I like it. I like the noise too. I love like sound. <laughs> huh, Zadie, you like that too. What's that called, Zadie? Uh, ASMR. ASMR, <laughs> that's right. All right, we may have some bleed through on that one because we use two different techniques, but let's see. Ah, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Yay, isn't that cool? So cool, right? 
Um, these are the different ones that they have available. This one here is uh, the Boho. This one's got a dream catcher and feathers. And there are others in here. There's like Southwestern Design and a bunch of borders. There's like 15 different borders across there. So this one's really cool. I'll be using a lot of that one. This one here is called Botanical. And it has different types of leaves and ferns. And then it has several, two different patterns that are leaf type patterns. So I'll be using a lot of that. This one here is called Patterns. This is a diamond shape. And then on the back, it's got a, a bunch of different patterns that you can choose from. And then the last one's called Mosaic, which I don't know, it's got more mandalas. It's got, uh, I forgot what you call those amoeba shaped things right now. Um, and some like scrolly swirls and stuff. So that's that. I hope that you will give them a try. I absolutely love them. Let me hold this door up one last time and let you see where we're started. Do not be surprised next time you see these doors, they're gonna be loaded um, with a scene. There will be a scene on here. So it's not just gonna be doors with stencils and molds on it. I'm gonna paint a scene right over the top of all the background stuff. So, yes, babe? There's a couple questions. Okay. Um, Someone, Deanne asked, once the adhesive is gone, can you spray adhesive like the other? Mm, I don't know, girl. I'm too new to this. I can't, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, my, my sticky is gone already pretty much on my roses one, so maybe I'll try that and see if that works. But I think, no, I would think that, that would, the spray would block your silk screen. There's no way to, to keep it from blocking the silk screen too. Faith asked, what is the price on these? Oh my gosh, the price on these. Um, can, Dixie Bell, you're there. Can you answer that question? I think they're like, is it $17? I don't know why I'm thinking $17 for the, for the three sheets. They haven't responded, but they said that they're loving, Dixie Bell said they're loving the bright blues. Yay, thank you. Thank, it's going to have all colors, all colors. So... Anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for being here. I am going to hop on over to my page. Um, Merry Christmas to every single one of y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful, I really, really seriously hope y'all have a wonderful holiday. Yes, baby? It, they said that it's about $25. Oh, it's $25. Okay, I can't remember. $17. I was close. <laughs> I was close. Uh, any other questions, babe? Nope. No? No. No, Dixie Belle, thank you for having me. Um, I hope that this inspires you, even if you don't do molds and stencils on your doors, to just take your doors off if you want and just do something fun with them or paint your cabinets. It's really, really easy. You don't have to wait for silk. Silk's amazing, but you don't have to wait for it. You can do it with this too. Anything else? Uh, one more. Okay. Jennifer asked, is this available in the U.S.? Yes, it's available right now. I put a link at the top of this video. You'll see my link. Um, it says you can purchase your paints and your stencils here, and there's a link there, and it'll take you right over. That's my affiliate link. I would love it if you would use it, um, and if you'll also click the Tracy Stancy and go over and give me a like and follow on my page as well. Um, the rest of the Whimsical Wednesday Night family, I love you guys. Y'all have a wonderful Christmas, and I will not see y'all next Wednesday, but I'll see y'all after the new year, okay? Thanks so much, y'all. Bye-bye.